promise you that you'll never meet another person as mentally tough as you. And he hasn't. to see if this mic actually works testing one two and three four hey guys it's your girl rush monique and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new on my channel welcome if you're one of my original orgies welcome this channel is based on motherhood lifestyle and vlogs and faith-based videos so if these things you like subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so when i post a video it comes straight to your phone so in today's video i'm going to be doing a seven month update on me and my baby girl kiara rose guys it has been a journey today is the 5th of december and kiara rose is officially seven months old i don't know where time has gone she's currently sleeping now she's having a morning nap so i thought i'll do my video before she wakes up it's been here guys it's been a journey i'm not gonna lie motherhood has been challenging so far but it's been the most rewarding experience ever seeing Kiara grow and develop and seeing her change is absolutely amazing I remember when I literally just had her she was small tiny she couldn't open her eyes now she doesn't stay still she's laughing giggling cooing pushing off trying to maneuver her way around the house dragging herself like a seal on the floor I don't know like when I found out I was pregnant I was shocked because I wasn't looking to get pregnant. <laughs> Obviously, if you have sex, you're gonna get pregnant. Like, if you're not careful, kind of thing. So, when I found out a lot of things was going through my mind, I was thinking about how am I gonna make it? What's gonna happen? What's me and her dad gonna do? Um, and when I told my family, they were shocked. When I told my friends, they were shocked. When I told the dad, he was shocked. And it was just a bowl of shockness but then even though I was fearful I was scared about the pregnancy journey I was scared about even being a parent because even though I've been in childcare for over a decade having your own child is completely different you're not looking after anyone else's child you're looking after your own and when I think about what I have to do what I'm gonna become because I'm not the same person I was last year i'm completely different now my life revolves around someone it's not just me i have to think about kiara now but i knew that everything was going to be okay i knew that god was going to make a way and i knew that i would have been able to get through this and i have and it's been seven months postpartum um i'm trying to lose weight um my postpartum weight i wasn't skinny in the beginning and i'm not skinny now i have put on weight since having kiara i think i lost a little and then i put back on because i've been eating so i've made a conscious decision to um detox for december eat healthy stuff and eat more healthy things um and just drink more water look after my body a bit more renew my mind a bit more so i'm trying to get back into my devotionals having my devotion with god before my day starts kiara sleeps through the night so that is a bonus for me i can wake up early and have that time with god it hasn't been easy i've been so tired and lazy to wake up early to have my devotion with god but i know that this is something i need to do so i'm continuing to work on that i'm gonna start the gym on mondays so i've signed up so i'm gonna start gym on monday i have to work around my family in regards to keeping kiara for me while i go to the gym because her dad is out of the country on business he can't keep her for me so i'm kind of just maneuvering my way around this new way of living new way of life Kiara's first tooth is out now so she has her bottom one right here she beat me on my lip yesterday and I was thinking mm -hmm. I shoved my bottom lip right back in her mouth and lo and behold there is the teeth coming through so she has a rash on her cheek and now I'm realizing that it's because her teeth is coming out I looked up online and that's a sign or symptom of her um, getting her first teeth and stuff so a lot's been happening me and my family and her dad and her godparents and friends or family are absolutely in love with her she's meeting her developmental milestones so she's crawling 
on her knees well she's not crawling crawling but she's like getting on her knees and moving off but she's not like continuously putting one knee in front of the other she's dragging herself around she can crawl backwards confidently she can sit up she can put things to her mouth so i've got a high chair now that i'm going to use to help her sit properly straighten her back properly so when i give her food she can actually sit and pick up the food and eat because i either sit her in her bouncer or i sit her on the floor um, in my lap and now that she's becoming a bit more aware of her body and stuff she wants to sit up properly i'm gonna do a video on unboxing her high chair and yeah she's growing she's different now tears comes to my eyes when i think about how hard my labor was so i was in 14 hours of labor i did a birth and delivery vlog so if you haven't watched that please check it out i was in 14 hours of labor and it was absolutely horrible i was on only gas and air for seven hours and then i had one failed epidural and then six hours later i had another epidural which worked and her heart rate was dropping so she was basically dying I was only seven meters dilated for hours and hours and hours and I could feel her head tugging against my pelvic bone and she just wasn't coming out I couldn't push I felt like I wanted to poo and I couldn't it was just a madness God saw us through so I had an emergency c-section and they brought her into this world at 310 weighing five pounds 12 ounces and I'm not gonna cry but when I think about I had a smooth pregnancy and now you know this label was just crazy but now she's here she's growing she's beautiful i look at my daughter and i think did i actually create you like did i bring you into this world she is gorgeous she's got a sense of humor she's just <laughs> she's literally gonna keep me on my tail in regards to the past seven months we're on our baby led weaning journey so she's trying different foods now um i've tried her with sweet potato she likes sweet potato um she doesn't like plain potato but she likes sweet potato she likes veggie straws and sticks but she doesn't really like i think she's still trying to maneuver um solids and puree because i still breast her she has her milk every now and then she doesn't take her formula much anymore she's just continually on my breast or she might try like little puree pot foods so i'm still maneuvering her in regards to her weaning journey but just to summarize she's meeting her developmental milestones her physical development is top notch she's pushing off she's not crawling confidently as yet but by christmas which is in two weeks she's going to be crawling she's cooing i'm trying to get her to say ma 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 but she's like and i do not want her to say dada first she needs to say mama first and dada lisa she's trying different foods so i want her to enjoy being a baby but i'm just introducing to her being little toddler because she's still an infant she's still a newborn until she's like 12 months so that's it really guys it's just a little seven month to catch up and yeah if you did reach to the ending of this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye